this can be quite tricky because they've got the advantage of being uh move 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 no don't go in there you know they've got the advantage of height which is um you know an old tactic from uh Just put on a weapon that's got ammunition on. No. All right, that'll have to do. Fresh magazine, I think. I don't like uh, reloading too often, but um, sometimes it's just worth it if you're too low on a magazine. Right, let's quickly trade before someone else comes down the stairs. Alright, we're being shot at. Move. Wouldn't stand there for too long. It's also worth keeping an eye behind you because you never quite know with this game. Well, I can hear someone, but I can't see him. Right, that's that one taken care of. There still might be others. <laughs> I find... I find the sound of that actually quite frightening and funny at the same time. Dude, you're more frightening than the enemies. Repetitive now. Got to say, the lighting and the shadows in this mod is really good. You know, YouTube doesn't do it justice, unfortunately, because of the uh, compression. Uh, but yeah, you'll like it if you play it. I could repair that one with this one, possibly. Slightly pre precarious place to do it, though. Right, your tools have run down, which... To be honest, I'm almost thankful for, because it was you know, quite heavy. But that's now at full uh, operation. But I'm still just overweight. If I drop that, that's all I need to do. Right, 
Bro, I can hear someone. I heard the noise that time. Uh, okay. You can protect me. Let's trade. Mm. No, I haven't got much to trade. What am I talking about? So that's where you can't go any further. Right, I want to get past you now, so... How do I do that, then? Yeah, I don't like that mechanic in games, in this particular game, where they... Uh... Right, I can't actually move. And I'm pressing mouse 3 to talk, but nothing... Ah, right. Yeah, I, I don't like that when they do that. You know, really, when you approach someone, it would be nice if they did a mechanic where your gun would just lower, like you see in modern games. It's rare that I cite modern games as a good influence, but uh, that would be nice. By the way, about your weapon. Alright, oh, okay, let's just devise them on what to use. So let's uh, listen to my commands. Uh, I suppose I could drop down there. Right, wait here. Wait here and be prepared. Sounds reasonable. Now, did I loot everyone that I could? Alright, that's where the military guys were. I think I've looted you. No, I haven't. Drop the illumination grenades, I think. Ah, still got to eat some food to make up for it. To lower the weight sufficiently. What's the heaviest item? I think the, uh, the sausage. Might have just heard the military there. I'm not sure. Plus eight, so that's therefore plus twelve because of the minus twenty. Uh, so that's now minus six, isn't it? So bullets plus five, radi radiation plus five, so that'll be minus one radiation. And then we want to use the. I suppose I could use that, but I am running a risk of pretty quick death, but uh, try it anyway. Might regret saying that. Didn't mean to reload, just trying to click on the guy. Uh, 
nice. There's no ammunition for it. Yeah, I think I'll drop one of the gas masks because I don't really need two of them. It's not like Metro. Which I do like Metro, actually. I do like it quite a lot. But it's one of those games I just haven't felt the necessity to play it through much after the first time. Not really sure why that is. I think it's just... Uh, I find it a little bit of an ordeal, really. It's... It's linear, for a start, which is... No, that's not a bad thing. I don't mind that sometimes, but it just, I don't know, it just doesn't quite do it for me. Or, uh, you know, multiple playthroughs. But I probably will play it through on this channel, but no time soon. Ah, I think that's weaker than the old army armor that I had. Right, so if you look at that there, it says plus 12, 21, and 18, and on here it'll be much less, I think. Yeah, no no comparison, so I'm going to... It's just too heavy. Uh, what about this? I think it said something about the tools not being, like, you know, doesn't work anymore, so I'll drop that. But it's still not quite enough. Still not enough. I suppose the water weighs quite a bit, but that is useful for uh, when you're running out of stamina. So I don't really want to drop that. It would be nice to take that and sell it. It's worth... Oh, it's in crap condition. Um, what am I going to get for it? A couple of thousand, maybe, if I'm lucky. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to go and eat some food again. <laughs> Let's uh, have some food. And some cheese. I'll just make a hard save once again. Okay, you can follow me now. Follow me and be prepared. Mm, yep, yeah, that'll do just fine. Kind of... Yeah, if I take out the controller first, assuming it's down here, which I very much expect it is. Uh... Then I can go back down and go into one of the areas I haven't explored. Now, let's just check quickly my situation here. I've got a lot of anti-radiation, but bleeding's going to be bad, isn't it? So... Perhaps if I take that off and put the droplet on, so that's minus 20, minus 30, minus 22, minus 16, minus 11, so I'm still minus 11, that's fine.
Careful, dude. Get back. Can't see anything. Alright. Is it dead? No, it's not. Or maybe that guy's under the influence of Psy attack. Um... Right, I might... Hopefully, I won't cock this up, but I might do. Right, I've killed it. So that was pretty neat. Hope you're feeling okay. Right, nothing on him, so... I think I'll just let this guy go then, unless he wants to follow me outside. If I just leave him here for the moment. Uh, wait here. Be prepared. Just suddenly realised that this armour that I'm wearing is only 50%. So that's what I should have used to repair it. To re You know, you should have used the tool kit for that. But I don't think I can, because I haven't got any spare armour. So that's that out of the... Uh, can you use it? No, he can't use it. So that answers that then. Right, so let's see if I can go back to the area that I haven't yet discovered and... I mean, I'm just hoping it doesn't break the game because I haven't actually got the quest. So I'm semi reluctant to do this, but we'll see. I wouldn't have thought it would break the quest because otherwise, why give you the option to come down here? Task: Find Strelok's group stash, personal notes, meeting Mole, because I haven't yet met him. But it appears all is okay, thankfully. Oh, you're kidding me, aren't you? So find the stash. Mole said, follow the spiral staircase down into the room with the columns, move across the room towards the exit and enter a large room with pipes in the ceiling. Go down to the second exit, enter the tunnel, turn left, there will be a right turn at the end. Go directly to the exit from the small room and turn right, look for a hole in the left wall next to the words, don't enter, you'll die. That's the entrance to Stradlock's stash. Which is where we are now, I believe. Oh yeah, I've got to destroy the bandit camp at the... Oh no, I've done it. I've got to go back for the reward. So, I've got a few things to hand into Sidorovich when I get round to going back. Alright, that appears to be it. Have I failed any quest yet? 
Oh yeah, right. Bruiser writes to Seri, Mole and Co. dug up Strelok's stash at the Institute, find out what's going on. Seri to Bruiser. I'll go to the bar afterwards anyway, so I'll just wait for them on the way at the garbage. Interesting. Right. I think you sometimes you find a mercenary suit uh, over here. It might be this one, actually. Ah, it looks to be a another sunrise suit, which hopefully is in better condition than mine. Yeah, perfect condition, so I'll swap those over. But, yeah, again, I'm carrying too much. Well, I'll drop that for now, and then if I, if I can, I'll take it on the way back. It's not often you can uh, walk through those as easily as that. of ammunition. Right, so I'm going to be over encumbered again. This actually is probably worth less than the sunrise suit. Yeah, but not by much less. Well, I'll drop it anyway. And that makes me a bit lighter. That's the weapon. Now this is probably a fairly modest AK, but it's going to have a faster re uh, faster fire rate. AK seventy four N At least it's in very good condition. Ah, it has a dovetail mount on the side of the receiver for mounting optics. That's good. So it may be worth considering keeping that. So essentially it's just a slightly improved version of this. So I can now sell this. Ah, uh, what to do? Drop that, I suppose. Right, I was ready for him that time, but I didn't, I wasn't sure I was going to make it actually. Let's put on one of these artifacts for bleeding. No, it's not that one, is it? It's that one. Yeah, I've already got it on. That's okay. Right. Does he damage my suit much? No. Probably try and take this other other suit with me, but it might be too heavy yet by a fair way as well. I think I've got to have to drop this. I haven't got any ammo for it really. You just have to thin it out in the end. You have to thin out what you're carrying and you know you kind of put more emphasis on the main weapons that you're carrying so sadly and with regret you're fired.
puns, plural, intended. Ah, rats, right, they will go for me, right? Probably better to put the shotgun on. There's another one. really didn't think I was going to make that, but uh, yeah, I had a funny feeling actually that I might see another one soon after uh, discovering you know, just the first one. gonna make a save here and just let things return to normal I'll cut back once that's uh, in evidence I mean look at the damage that that did to that suit about 45% through walking through the chemical anomalies uh, Wow that's more than I thought it would do I thought it might be like 5% 10% something like that uh, yeah that well and truly but well, it's basically ruined it, really. Better take a med kit, I suppose. Just in case I'm ambushed again. Once again, running low on uh, shotgun shells. But I'll probably pick up a whole load of them at the bar when I get there. Right, this might not be necessary to go up here, but I like to explore. Sometimes you find a stash in there, but it's usually got nothing in it. And I think I have found things in here before, but you can't go very far before you have to turn back. Yeah, nothing as usual. Um, I don't think there's anything down there, is there? I mean, if there's, if there's something worth going for, uh, looking for, you know, finding like a stash or an artifact then I'm all for it but I don't think it really suits any purpose in particular but it does look like you get a chance to get through there but I'm not going to bother very rarely bother with that area Right, so got nothing, so I'm gonna have to let this just stop. Might even be simpler just to walk through the anomaly, actually. Oh well, didn't need to. Although it is right below me, so I might have to take some damage. Oh no, got away with it. That's all right. Put a fresh magazine in just in case. Another. Bloodsucker appears, which wouldn't surprise me. So, you know, relatively early area, the Agripom, and to be honest, it can be quite boring if you've played Stalker enough. And most mods don't change it that much, but this has been a bit different, and I've quite enjoyed it. So I'm just going to 
Cool, you are over tired, aren't you? Um, right, I'll take off the artifacts which aren't helping for the stamina. So right, that's minus 20, that's, that's 8, that's 12, that's plus, that's 12. Right, I can take that one off just. And I'm, I think I'm minus 1 now, so I can hopefully move slightly more freely. Very slightly. Ah, oh, this magazine in this gun's bigger as well. It's uh, 45 rounds, which is... Uh, great. I like magazines like that when you get, you know, instead of 30 you get 40 or 50 rounds. That always helps. Oh dear. I really do question the design of the mechanic where you have to, you know, wait ages for, before you can move and the, the breathing keeps going. It's just a really needless. I mean, realistic, yeah, but it, realism doesn't often translate well in games. Certainly not always, anyway. Right, so I guess you may as well come with me. Not again, surely. Oh, it is another one. Right, I'm getting severe. Uh, F1 grenade. Stop blocking me. I don't think I'm going to make it. My psi health is bad, so I'm going to go start going crazy soon. Sorry, guy, I've got to leave you there. Try and get back. Hopefully in a minute and uh, finish that controller off. Uh, let's get one of those grenades ready for this. Use a bandage quickly. I don't know about you, but I find the, the the effect of the control. Oh, have you killed him? Great, if you have. No, you probably haven't actually. Um, but the effect of the controller, you know, the realism aspect of it, the way the screen goes, sort of blurry. Uh, I don't really like that because it. I mean, it's a good thing in one way, but it it, it makes playing against the controller really hard. Did I kill it? I think I did. And if I did, may I say so myself, that's a good shot. Very good shot. Because I couldn't see feck all. Right, let's get out of here. I've had enough. In fact, I might just wait until things have calmed down a bit because, uh, you know, I'm very vulnerable like this. Right, quick save and a hard save. How I made it out of that encounter without dying, I don't know. I got lucky there. Uh, and so did you, by the looks of it. Um, maybe that wall prevented me from taking too much damage. Have I got anything for side damage? Am I wearing anything that makes side damage worse? Nope, it would appear not. 
My suit's about the same as it was before, about... Oh, that one's slightly better, I'll put that one on. Yeah, artifact for carrying more weight and the side, uh, reducing side damage would be uh, very much appreciated. Strelok's flash drive, so that's good. Despite the, you know, the improved accuracy and damage on this over the uh, standard AK, uh, although it's not very much, I may sell that just to lighten the load because I've got no ammo for it. And you, you have to start. You know, you've got a scope on this one. I've got a grenade launcher, which, to be fair, probably can be used on that one. But this one seems to be the one to put you know, resources into over that one. So I, I may sell that. Uh, I'll keep that as a sidearm because that's actually potentially very good sidearm. Shotgun for now and I'll keep that for now as well. That's enough, I think, for weapons. Right, I think I'm sane enough to venture out of the agriprom.